All right, so now we're at our third, our third form of here. So we're still doing rate of change or slope, but now this is when they give us two points. So that, now there's a couple things you can do with this. If you want to graph it because you are all about graphing those points and then count, that is fine and dandy if that is good for you. But there is a formula. There is a formula that says m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So simply you're finding it's still going back to the difference of y's over the difference of your x values. Okay, We're doing exactly what we talked about when we counted, but now there's actually a formula for those of you like myself who really, really like using formulaic things. All right, so here we go. We got two points, and I don't necessarily, I personally don't want to take the time and graph them and count because I just, I don't want to. So my first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label these points. I'm going to have my x1 and my y1, and I'm going to have my x2 and my y2. So I now label my two points. Remember that formula that we talked about just a second ago here, which was y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now I just chose what I wanted to be my x1 and y1 and chose what I wanted to be the point that was my x2, y2. But so when I actually apply this formula, I'm going to take my y2, which is right there, which is 9, and put a minus sign because that's what the formula says. My y1, which is right here, which is 4. I am then going to take my x2 right there, which is 7. Put the minus sign because, again, the formula says minus sign. Minus my x1 right there, which is 3. Okay. Now, like all things, we need to simplify this down. This is not done. So what is 9 minus 4? It's 5. What is 7 minus 3? It's 4. Now you have done your slope. That is your slope when you're dealing with two points. Okay, so again, my first step when I see I'm given two points is I'm going to label x1, y1, x2, y2. It's no big deal, by the way, that there's negatives there. Okay, our formula, remember, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so again, we're finding the difference of our y's over the difference of our x's. So again, I'm going to plug it into the formula. My y2 is right there, is a negative 5. Make sure you write it down as a negative 5. I'm still putting my minus sign. My y1 is right here, which is 4. It's a positive 4, but again, that minus sign is in the problem, so I'm going to have negative 5 minus 4. Then my x2 is right here, which is negative 2. Still put my minus sign, because again, my minus sign goes from over here, right there it's in the actual equation all right then my x1 is right here notice it's a negative three okay so i typically put parentheses because i don't want to forget that i had a negative now this is why we did that simplification earlier in the game so i'm going to simply do the problem now i got to remember what's negative five minus four that'd be negative nine of course use your calculator if you want to then here, this mess right here, I can do a couple ways. I'm probably going to go over to the side of my paper and say, hey, I know that a minus minus is the same thing as a plus. So really, this is the problem I have, which is negative 2 plus 3, which I know is 1. So my slope for this problem is negative 9 over 1. Okay, so starters here, I'm going to say x1, y1, I'm going to label x2, y2. I like to label before I start problems. I'm going to write down my formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, some of you might be going, hey, I might notice something. Some of you might not um, at this point. So I'm going to start my formula. Now, again, remember, I've got y2 is right here. y1 is there. So I'm going to have 10 minus 0 for my y2 minus y1 x2 is right here, x1 is right there. Notice I have 5 minus 5. Now, mathematically, what happens when I do 5 minus 5 and get a 0 in the denominator? 
Can I ever divide anything by zero? No. So this is the case where I have an undefined slope because I got a zero in my denominator's position. All right, now you might have caught on. So I'm going to label x1, y1, x2, y2. Again, I always like to write out the formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Going to start my problem. m equals, here's my y2, there's my y1. So I have 3 minus 3 over, there's my x2, there is my x1, 4 minus 2. Now I have, what's 3 minus 3? Well, it's 0. 4 minus 2 is 2. Okay, so notice the 0 is on top of this one. So my slope is 0. And if we think back to what type of line has a slope of 0, we could even think through that, a horizontal line. So just a little connecting the dots here, like the undefined is vertical.